In keeping with our theme of you can't take it with you, one must always be reminded that today could be our last day on earth. In other words, as the old saying goes, a man is not really ready to live until he is ready to die. Four lepers described in the Bible sure could relate to this. We pick up the story in 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 3, when the nation of Israel is in the middle of a famine and locked away from the rest of the world and starving to death. In verse 3, the four lepers sitting outside the gates and waiting to die arrive at the obvious conclusion that things are pretty bleak when one of them asks, why do we sit here until we die? Good question, since they only have two options. They can go inside the gates where there's no food and die there, or sit idly by and wait for the leprosy to take them out. Either way, pretty hopeless situation. That is, until one of them gets a harebrained scheme to take a real leap of faith and suggests the four of them head over to their arch enemy, the Syrian army, camped just a few miles down the road. And I guess they figure it this way. What have we got to lose, right? We'll just waltz into the Syrian camp and ask for food. The worst they can do is kill us. So they take action. They get up. They walk by faith toward the Syrian encampment. And lo and behold, unbeknownst to the four lepers, as they are walking towards the camp, the Lord causes the Syrians to hear loud chariots coming their way. And in great fear, the entire Syrian army abandons the camps, heads for the hills, and leaves all of their goods for these four lucky lepers to plunder. So what's the point, Tony, you ask? Well, the point is, at some point, you and I will have to face death and make a decision to either sit there and wait to die or go straight into death by faith and live. And how, you ask, might we find life by dying? Well, Jesus has the answer for that one, and it's found in Matthew 7, 13 and 14, where he talks about two gates, one leading to famine and death, the other leading to joy and eternal life. One is attractive, but soon ends. The other, well, maybe a little less flashy, but believe me, as the great writer Charles Spurgeon says, is a whole lot better than even what those poor lepers stumbled across and plundered at the Syrian camp. And maybe that's how you feel right now, like one of those lepers sitting there totally out of control, feeling hopeless, helpless, worried, having no hope in life without God, just sitting there waiting to die. Well, to acknowledge our own mortality, friend, is a good thing. We just need to know where to place our faith and where and who to die to so that we might truly have life. We conclude with these wonderful words from the Apostle Paul who said this about life and death. In Philippians 1.21, he simply says, For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. In other words, you want to live and gain the whole world? Don't follow the herd and enter by the wide and under, unpredictable gate offered by the world, but rather slip on in through the narrow gate offered by Christ. Enter by his gate, by faith, and I assure you the things and worries of this world will soon see, seem trivial at best. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips. And be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.